The first thing that you want to do with any of this equipment, because they all have it, is to read the owner's manual. The owner's manual has safety information in the, in the manual, okay? And a lot of people don't read it, and if, and if you don't read it, uh, you know, you, you need to in order to understand uh, what can hurt you about this machine, okay? So the first thing with the, with the wedge cart right here is to, when you set it up on the harvester, make sure it's set level, okay? The, uh, the tongue has adjustments where you can move the tongue up and down on the, on the cart. The harvester has adjustments on the cart or on the harvester to move up and down so you can get everything level. Everything works better when it's level, okay? Uh, one other thing that that does is when you're going through the field and if you hit bumps and that sort of thing, it keeps the, 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 the elevator or the harvester from dipping into the augers, okay? That's a safety issue too because you'll, you'll tear it up and then you have to repair, and repair it and that sort of thing. So never ever stand between the cart and the harvester. All right, never ever. Uh, the operator can be 40 feet this way and can't see you. There's lots of noise, there's lots of dust. Don't go in here for anything. The only time you ever do that is when you look and you see the tractor driver is off the tractor, tractor's turned off, okay? Then you can get in here if you need to change the cart or work on something in here, but never ever go in here when you're in the field, okay? Also, don't stand behind the cart. And a lot of this is not, <clears throat> It's common sense, but a lot of it is because during, during harvest, like I said, there's lots of dust, there's lots of noise, there's lots of movement, and sometimes there's not as much communication as there needs to be. Okay? So never ever stand behind the cart as well, unless the tractor driver is off, tractor's turned off. Go ahead, Roy. You gotta chirp. Okay. Look, uh, buenos, uh, buenos dias. Lo que estamos hablando es de, de que al, uh, al pegar el carretón atrás de la levantadora, que hay que estar bien seguro que esté a nivelado para que no vaya a haber problemas al, al salir del, a la calle o algo que vaya a pegar la levantadora con los augers. Por eso es muy importante que esté bien a nivelado el carretón atrás de la levantadora. Y andando trabajando uh, a causa de que hay mucha tierra, polvo, uh, hay que estar 100% seguro de que nadie se arrime a la maquinaria cuando anda trabajando. Mucho menos ponerse entre medio de la levantadora y el carretón, porque el chofer no va a ver qué es lo que está pasando acá entre, entre la maquinaria acá atrás, solo que nunca se debe de arrimarse a la maquinaria cuando anda trabajando. Uh, hasta que no estén bien seguros que el chofer ya paró, apagó y se abajó para que se puedan arrimar. Este, porque muchas veces él la puede apagar por X causa y en un segundo vuelve a prender todo para atrás. Solo que nunca ar se arrimen a la maquinaria a chequear nada mientras que el chofer no, no apague y se abaje para abajo. Ok. 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 It goes without saying, never make any adjustments on the cart unless everything's turned off as well. Okay, because you can adjust something there. At, at times, you need to adjust the speed of the car, uh, of the augers. You need to adjust the uh, the horizontal belt in the bottom, the incline belt. They need adjustments during 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 the course of a season. But don't do that unless, once again, tractor driver is off the tractor. Everything's turned off. Okay. Um, there's a jack on the back end of this cart. If it's sitting by itself, this cart's heavy to the rear. So never disconnect this cart from the harvester or. Uh, either a self-propelled harvester or uh, the PTO harvester, unless you have the jack down in the back because it will come down in the back. And it's designed that way uh, to, to carry the load better. Okay, so use the jack in the back if you're going to take the cart loose. Uh, okay, never disconnect the hydraulics to this. After it's been running for a while, those hydraulics are, or the hydraulic oil is very hot and it can damage. I mean, it can cause injuries. Nunca tratar de ajustar el, el carretón cuando, cuando está trabajando la maquinaria. ¿ves? Se, se van a necesitar a, en un tiempo ajustarse, por ejemplo, las cadenas o la prisión. de, de No, la, la prisión se necesita a todo tiempo la, 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 el equipo necesario para chequear la prisión. Pero para hacer un ajuste del volumen, qué tan recio va los augers, eso sí se puede hacer manualmente 
pero pa, si necesita un gauge para saber la prisión y eso, necesita estar acompañado con el chofer del traidor para que sepa lo que están haciendo. ¿ves? Se necesita un poquito de reconocimiento del hydraulic para poder sentar la prisión, pero para ajustar el volumen que es despacio o recio, eso este, es fácil para hacerse en el carretón este. Nunca desconectarlo sin poner el gato que tiene atrás, porque siempre este carretón está más pesado atrás que adelante. Eso es para que cuando se llena, no, o sea, la levantadora no, o sea, no haya mucho peso en la levantadora. Solo que nunca desconectarlo sin poner el gato atrás. Este, uh, that's about it. Okay. Uh, just a couple more things about the operation. Uh, never, never uh, go inside the cart when the augers are operating, because they will wrap you up. Doesn't seem like it. All it takes is a loose piece of clothing. Those augers will grab it and they start wrapping it up, okay? Um, the adjustments for the, for the machine are right here in the front. You loosen the bearing. If the, if the chain gets loose, you loosen the bearing, move the push bolts this way to tighten the chain up and then tighten the bearing back down. It's pretty simple. Works the same way on the other one too. This machine, when you, when you do hook it up hydraulically, a tractor like this, in order to keep the hydraulics as cool as you can, you use a pressure and you can talk to your dealer about this, but use the pressure uh, implement port here to pressurize the cart and bring it back into the sump of the tractor, not back through the other port, because every time you create more, more uh, 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 resistance, friction, it makes heat and everything gets hot and that's not good for everything. So are there any questions on the cart? Okay, let's move to the runner. Okay, once again on the runner, it comes with an owner's manual. The owner, man, owner manual has safety instructions inside. Please read the manual. Okay, this, this machine would come equipped with a manual for the, for the runner itself, an engine manual, and any accessories that are inside the machine. So read the manuals on this stuff uh, to understand the safety concerns, all right? Cab controls, um, well, there's a lot of controls in there that control uh, the, the, pres the uh, pressure for the cabin, um, of course, the joystick fore and aft. Lots of controls on the joystick to uh, to lift to lift the bin, lower the bin. Uh, there's horns. There's there's brakes. There's uh, directional signals. That sort of thing. They're all clearly labeled inside where you can see it as far as operating the machine. Um, at the beginning of the day, you always walk around the machine and check for oil leaks, water leaks, just to make sure because that can be a safety concern later on. Okay, uh, so that's the first thing you do. Keep this cab air cleaner. There's a cab air cleaner located right back there that pressurizes the cab with filtered air. If that gets dirty, then you got dirt coming into the cab. We don't want that. So keep, check that each day as well and make sure to keep that clean. Whenever you stop for, uh, for lunch breaks or when you stop when you're unloading at the elevator, you stop for uh, breaks, anything like that, Always set the parking brake. There's a parking brake inside the machine, clearly uh, uh, printed where you can see it. So always set it whenever you plan to get out of the machine. There is a switch called a, a dead man switch on the seat. And if you get out of that seat within a few seconds, it's gonna kill the machine, okay? Um, there is a bin dumping feature on this machine and there's a, a rocker switch inside the cab for it. If you ever have a load of nuts in this machine and you have a hydraulic failure of some sort, um, this has a little 12 volt power unit that will power it up where you can get underneath of it to do some repairs if you need to. Whenever you raise the bin, there's a prop rod inside. Never, ever, ever work on that, anything under the bin without that prop rod in place for safety. Okay. En el Jack Runner es, uh, es algo que todos los días al empezarlo en la mañana hay que estar bien seguro de chequear la, el nivel de los aceites del hydraulic, del aceite del motor, uh, el agua, este, uh, estar seguro que esté todo bien, y, pero un 100% más seguro es que no haya nadie alrededor del Runner cuando lo van a prender. Uh, el runner es, uh, se mueve con hydraulic y electrónico y nunca sabes qué es lo que va a pasar al prenderlo, ¿ves? Solo que aunque nunca se prende de abajo, siempre tienes que estar sentado en él para prenderlo. 
y a todo tiempo cualquier cosa puede fallar, como digo, es eléctrico y es uh, hydraulic. Siempre estar seguro que no haya nadie en alrededor del runner cuando lo van a prender. Uh, y aunque puede pasar mil veces que nada pasa, pero va a haber esa vez que uh, algo va a suceder, un corto, una manguera rompida o algo, y el runner se puede arrancar. ¿ves? Uh, el runner adentro tiene todos los controles para los gusanos, para dompear, uh, los señales, uh, pa, uh, o sea, el, el, los agros se mueven para atrás y para adelante, este, trae, uh, trae de todo, o sea, uh, el aire acondicionado, sobre todo trae también uh, un abanico para ponerle prisión adentro de la cabina para que no entre tierra. Es muy necesario uh, limpiar ese filtro porque si no se va a llenar de tierra adentro. Este, solo que a todo tiempo el filtro ese que está acá afuera, ese es nomás para la cabina. Y a todo tiempo, como digo, hay que, hay que estar seguro de eso. Y al mucho tiempo al usar el aire acondicionado, tiene también, eh, se debe de entrar ahí y sopletearse porque si no se va a congelar o se moja mucho y deja de trabajar. Uh, pero a todo tiempo, eh, o sea, hay, hay que chequear eso, no es de diario, pero cada 3, 4 días chequear qué tan mugroso anda el sistema. Si acaso al, se llega a quebrar, que no quiera dompear, hay manera de eléctricamente levantar la caja para arriba. Se, se va, por ejemplo, cada 3 minutos y lo paran por 5 y luego 3 minutos hasta que se levanta la caja. Nunca entrar a la caja sin poner el poste de seguridad, hay un poste amarillo que se debe de poner para pa seguridad. Nunca entrar a componer nada ni hacer nada, uh, aunque sea mientras que esté el poste puesto. Y luego ya después ya, ya pueden hacer lo que quieran. Una de las cosas que debe checar en los nuevos runners es que este display screen that we have inside has a lot of safety features on it. Uh, and once again, I, I, I can't go through it because we can't see it, but this is taken right directly out of the, the owner's manual and it explains all the safety features that we have to offer. We have diagnostic features. Uh, if you see prompts on that screen, on the newer runners, when you first start them up in the morning, shut it down, find out what's going on because it will prompt you if there's a problem somewhere uh, with the engine, with the hydraulic system, the electrical system, All those prompts are available on that display screen uh, so you can see them. Um, whenever you're using this machine in the field, you always use the high gear. Don't use the low gear because low gear in this machine will actually push. Uh, if, you, if you bump into the reservoir cart the way that it's designed to work, you can actually push that reservoir cart. It may cause a problem for the, the tractor driver, okay? So use high range in here. You don't have near as much torque. And that's the way it's, it's designed to do that. All right. There's also on the newer runners, there's something called a load mode feature, which enables you to bump the reservoir cart, hit a button, and everything stays constant from there on out. You stay right with the reservoir cart. Uh, it it, it, it uh, disables the joystick operation, and it maintains the same speed that it did when you hit the cart. Okay, so you don't have to be pushing the cart, backing off, pushing the cart, backing off. Uh, it's available on the, on the newer runners, and uh, if anybody wants to see it later, I'd be happy to show them. But we have, it's, uh, it's kind of a field, we have to go in the field in order to do it. So we could, but I'll, I'll be available to do that if anybody wants to. Um, that's, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, do you guys have any questions? Okay, Roy. Uh, hay, hay ciertas seguridades uh, uh, en, ahora en el sistema nuevo de, del joystick que le nombramos. Este, ahora tiene como un, una forma de un remoto que cuando te arrimas a, al carretón a descargar, le puchas el botón y solo va a ese, va, va el remoto jalando a como vaya la levantadora. Si se llega a parar la levantadora, también indica que lo va a parar también al, al, al runner. Pero eh, es algo que aún como quiera el chofer debe estar al pendiente porque, como digo, puede fallar algo. Este, uh, pero a todo tiempo digo, eso es, eh, eso es en lo más nuevo. Uh, uh, o sea, en los nuevos que hay ahorita, hay ese remoto. Uh, la otra cosa que en el asiento este, 
Al no estar en posición para adelante o para atrás, no va a jalar nada. Si está en posición uh, en medio, no, no va a trabajar nada en el runner. Si te levantas y te abajas, se va a apagar solo, ¿ves? Porque si no hay nadie en el asiento, se va a apagar. Solo que hay que... Son cosas que todo está en el libro de, de seguridad que traen los runners. Pero si hay alguna pregunta, estamos para ayudarles. Son, son, uh, son cosas que hicieron porque no, no fuera a haber un accidente. Este, solo que a todo tiempo, como quiera, hay que leer el, el manual de, de seguridad. Ok, ¿hay there any questions? ¿Hay preguntas? ¿Preguntas? On a regular, like, basis, like, how often should we, like, load the filters? Like, the engine filters, or? Well, that's kind of a tricky, a trick question. The, uh, the manufacturers for those, those filtration systems say never. <laughs> um, you know, we all know that practically, sometimes we need to. But I, I really can't make a rec recommendation when they say never do it. They, they, they say replace it with a new one. So. Los filtros que traen el motor, ves, para el motor, uh, la fábrica del motor dice que jamás se debe de, de meter el aire, ves, por causa que se puede hacer una rompida o algo. 100% en el, en el filtro que va adentro, menos. Ese no, nunca debe de pegarle el aire uh, cuando van a sopletearlos, ves. Pero lo que ellos recomiendan es que si se almugra y se pone colorado ahí el indicador, es mejor que lo cambien los dos al mismo tiempo. Esa, esa es la, la garantía del motor. Si se almugra, es mejor que los cambien los dos. Any more questions? Okay, we're briefly going to touch on the elevator and the two one, units. One question, sir, I'm sorry. That's all right. On the air filter. Yeah. You were talking about replacing them both. Um, that's how we work for weight farms. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are um, trying to um, not to blow the air filters, mm -hmm. but just replace them. Mm -hmm. um, is these uh, new units have the dust indicators inside of the cab? Restriction indicators? Not inside the cab. It's next to the filter. Okay. Is, do you guys have a kit? that you can install inside of the cab so the driver would, would look at it be right there in front of him instead of uh, racing the... You know, I, I, I'm uh, not being the engineer that, that designs them. I, can't, I really can't answer that. I'm sure anything can be done. Uh -huh. uh, I'll take it back to the manufacturer, or, you know, to, to, the, to the factory and, and, and say that we need to do that. I know see if Flory, we can get it done. Flory is doing it. Yeah. And we bought a couple of those kits. So okay. Okay. And uh, we just wonder if you guys would, you know, we're doing it for our older. So if we come up with a kit that you can, you can install, you will. Yeah, you can install. What okay. You can install ourselves. Let me take it back to the factory, and, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Okay. Right. We're going to briefly touch on the elevator. We make a couple of different kinds of elevators. This is actually a 90 degree model, and there's not a whole lot to them. Uh, simply, uh, if if things are moving. It's like with any of this stuff, if it's moving, stay away from it, you know? And, and there's owner's manual with each, each piece of equipment. The owner's manual tells you uh, the safety precautions that you need to, to pay attention to. Okay, so read the owner's manual on any of these. The elevator, basically, you're gonna to want to adjust the belts from time to time as they get off, and that belt adjustment is pretty much like it is on the wedge cart. There, there's a bearing that you can take loose and a push bolt to, to move the bearing. And uh, to, to, uh, if it gets a little bit, if the belt gets a little bit on one side or the other, you can adjust that as well. It's in the owner's manual how to do it. Um, on these two units right here, uh, we have one as a stick jack. These are conditioning units. One is a stick jack, which works independently. Uh, it removes a lot of sticks. We do have a little, a little fan on it to, uh, to blow leaves out, but it really doesn't it really doesn't clean leaves and dirt and that sort of thing out. It just cleans the sticks pretty much. Uh, and like I said, it works independently. The prepper jack on the other side of it uh, works in conjunction with a harvester. You put it behind a harvester, the harvester cleans the, uh, the material, goes through there, uh, the prepper jack pulls out the sticks, puts them in the stick bin in the back. The stick bin is a moving part. You need to stay away from that as well, okay? Um, but yeah, any, any, anytime it's moving, I mean, a basic rule of thumb, any of this stuff, you know, if you've got augers going in the wedge cart, if you've got a, uh, the stick box belt moving, stay away from it. 
That's, that's, you get, get in trouble by, uh, by trying to fix something that's, while it's moving. And the good rule is to make sure that the tractor, the tractor or the harvester is shut down and the driver's out of the seat before you make any repairs or any adjustments. Okay?